is the value of R2. So I look at this uh, diagram here, this circuit, and I see that it's a parallel circuit. And that means that the battery is 12 volts, and therefore V1, the voltage drop across that first resistor, would equal V2, the voltage drop across the second resistor. They're in parallel, and there isn't any other resistor there. Therefore, I can say um, V equals I times R for that arm of the circuit. V is I times R. And V then is 12. I, I don't know. And, of course, R is 3. And you're saying, well, why are you doing that? They didn't ask you for I through there. Well, I can do it. And it's probably one of the few things I can do. So I solve and find that I is 4 amps. So at that junction, 4 amps goes through that portion of the parallel circuit, leaving 1 amp to go through that arm. 5 amps comes in. Obviously, 1 amp goes through there meaning that I2 is 1 amp. Well, now that I've found I2, do you see how each thing follows? I can now find R2 because the voltage drop across there is 12 volts also. And of course, I can say V is I times R for that resistor, and therefore V equals IR, and just through that one little arm, and look what I get. I get the uh, potential drop is 12, the current I know is 1, and I solve for R, and there is R. And so R is, I mean, it's just look at it. R is 12 ohms. And so we found R2. But that's one way of doing it. Let me now show you another way of doing the problem. So once again, what is the value of R2? And I'm going to take a different approach. Now this is a parallel circuit. And I'm given here the total voltage going into that circuit and the total current. Well, if I have total current and total voltage, I can find the total resistance from Ohm's law. So we always use Ohm's law. Vt is It times Rt. <laughs> so I know that I can now find the total resistance of this parallel portion here. So it's easy to find from Ohm's law the resistance of that parallel portion, the equivalent resistance. So the resistance is equal to, obviously, uh, 12, which is the voltage, divided by 5, the current. And I find that that total resistance is 2.4 ohms. So I now have this total resistance. And I have a formula for that total resistance when resistors are in parallel. And I know that 1 over the uh, total parallel resistance there is equal to 1 over R1, which is 3, plus 1 over R2, which is unknown. But you see, I found RT now. RT, I know, of that resistance in parallel is 2.4. Therefore, I can say 1 over 2.4 uh, is equal to 1 over 3, plus 1 over R2. And now I have to just uh, solve that equation for R2. And you can use algebra and simplify it, or you can just literally put it through your calculator. And either way, you will find that R2 equals, as before, 12. So this is a completely different way of doing the problem, and we get the same answer. Make sure you study this and understand it, and then move on to problem 3.